part of the reason why I chose not Rexon from other, you know, because there, there are also other options for cravings and stuff like that. So there are studies showing that people with specific genetic backgrounds, we are again speaking about genetic predispositions, specific genetic mutations and backgrounds respond to not Rexon better. And I, before I started taking naltrexone, I actually had my whole genome sequence, you know, the, the entire DNA, and that, that was part of my work. I know how to analyze, to look at that. And I looked at some of those genes, those regions, and I realized that I actually carry some of those genetic, uh, you know, uh, uh, mutations that, uh, that have been shown. Uh, there are papers in the literature showing that people who have those respond to naltrexone better. So that's why, that was part of the reason why I asked my doctor to prescribe naltrexone for me, because that, that's how it started. So I asked for it. And then uh, to your question, um, I remember very clearly when the very first session, when I drank on naltrexone, immediately I, I drank less than I normally did. I actually half of it. And then I felt kind of satisfied 